It's all about having the right team around you. That's the key element of success in, in any sport, is having the right team. And I saw Errol at a boxing tournament. 2009, Errol fought was there recording the fight. He said, you think you can help him? I said, yeah, I think I can help him. It was just the right time, because I had said to myself that I want to start giving back. I grew up in Dallas and grew up in the Boys and Girls Club. Just about every one of my great childhood experiences was there. And I grew up, I started boxing here in this gym. People around the Boys and Girls Club, all the directors and everything, boxing coach that I admired, everything I am today is because of the Boys and Girls Club. It wasn't so much about anything else, just me giving back and feeling like I had something to give and offer. I started working with Derek. In the first two years, I didn't talk to Derek at all. We never had conversations like the first two years. It was all about business and all about working, all about developing. And I started getting better and just showing different skill sets that I didn't have before. It was obvious that he had the athleticism. He just needed the skill set. And once he got that, it was over. I kept working out with him because I seen the results. He realized that I was real. After that point, we just kept talking and then just getting closer and closer, like a big brother, little brother. You have to constantly keep growing as a trainer and as a fighter. And in a relationship, you want to be able to grow together because sometimes people grow apart. So watch him as a kid grow into a grown man. It's an amazing journey because he's a real guy. And working with him, you get Jamel. Well, working with Derrick James and working with Earl Spence, you know, it's like, wow, you get to see another guy with the same ambition, the same drive and determination. You know, we just click because he's a great student. They're very similar in Errol and Jamel because they want to be what you want them to be. But at the same time, it pushes me to be, you know, what they need me to be also. So it's like kind of push each other to be better. To know the fighter and know what he needs and desires, you have to have a personal relationship with him. That's why I don't train 20 fighters. I mean, I train three guys. I moved to Texas because I felt like it was just a lot more opportunity. I was talking to Errol. And I said, what do you think about Frank? I was like, he, he likes him, he wants to promote him. I knew when I came down, I was going to have to show them exactly, you know, what I was about, too, as far as me being a hard worker and being disciplined. He was cool, you know, down to earth. You know, wasn't boastful. He was just a guy that was trying to work hard. I signed him. When we start working, then you realize, OK, he's very athletic. And so you build his uh, skill set around his athleticism. Derek brings out the, the best in me. Now he can show me how to do something and tell me when and why to do it. Exploit every angle. If you hear, you hear. When you hear, you hear. He just know how to break the stuff down and make it make sense to me. Just a shot to the distance that you're at. We grew, and yeah, he's like a big brother, little brother situation, just like Errol and Jamel. We have a, like a little family. Everybody's watching each other to gain more knowledge more experience. It's like class in a session, right? It's education. Earl, he just got like a, he got a motor. You know, he like a machine, he just keep going. Just me watching him, you know, it make me go harder. It keeps me focused too. Just like with him training and working out, it's making me, you know, stay in the gym. Make sure you dip in him and move your head to the side. I don't do it, but you know what I'm saying, it's better to tell you. It's great for a young fighter at this stage to have that guy in this corner. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like that. Like, and to be his promoter. The relationships we have are relationships that help the team. And like they said, nobody bigger than the band. We all here together to work and to get better. The day you start patting yourself on the back is the day they catch up with you. And to be able to make an impact on Jamel, be, he's made history of the first time to have four belts. He'll be the undisputed light middleweight champ of the world. And Errol to have three belts. The truth, Errol Spence Jr. Frank Hurry put him in a place to where he can become a champion. To be able to help someone fulfill their lifelong dream is amazing. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.